Welcome to this edition of Planet Earth News. Uh, in this edition, we're going to talk about the uh, update on the proof of the ancient civilization that is under the Persian Gulf. Another topic we're going to touch is uh, remember the aurora that came or the speed of Norway? Well, I have news and an update and an experiment that is ongoing by NASA. Also, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, a new hot Jupiter like exoplanet that NASA say they found. But, I don't uh, we're going to check first the. The first topic that is the proof of ancient civilization is this. Jeffrey Rose, an archaeologist and researcher with the University of Birmingham in the UK, has a very interesting hypothesis about what is lying under the Persian Gulf oasis. He says that the area may have been the home of early humans for more than 100,000 100 years. 100,000 years. Before being swallowed up by the Indian Ocean some eight years ago, there is a historical sea level data that proved that before the flood, the Gulf Basin was above water and that stirred 75,000 years ago. This would have made it the perfect refuge for the deadly desert around it, not to mention the underground spring or the fresh water supplied by the Tigris, Euphrates, Karun, and Wadi Baton rivers. When climate was at its driest, the Gulf Oasis could have been reached the site of Grand Bretagne, according to Rogos. Uh, he bases his affirmation on the finding of evidence of human settlements along the shore of the Gulf dating from nearly 7,500 years ago. He said that where before there had been but a handful of scattered hunting camps, suddenly over 60 new archaeology sites appeared virtually overnight. This settlement boasts well built permanent stone houses, long distance trade work, networks, elaborately decorated pottery, domestic animal evidences for one of the oldest boats in the world. Even so, this is far earlier than the estimate of the most recent migration model that established the first successful migration into Arabia, somewhere between 50,000 and 70,000 years ago. So, uh, Jerry Rose uh, thinks that there is a civilization under the Persian Gulf that was uh, swallowed 8,000 8, years ago. Let's see what happened uh, in this topic because it's very interesting to see who, who are down there. Uh, you remember the Norway Spiral? The now WikiLeaks says that maybe it's a hard CERN experiment that uh, Obama was sent to a 2012 Alice Bunker Project Alice. Maybe I don't know what it is, but I know it's a bunker for 2012. So today I have news that says a experiment hurled into Aurora above Norway by NASA rocket. A team of scientists led by Mark Lesser of the University of New Hampshire Space Science Center launched an instrumental laden four stage sounding rocket from Norway and Doya rocket range into Aurora about 200 miles above Earth early in the morning of December 12, 2000. Just before the two week launch window slammed shut for the 10 minute flight, a 75 foot long black brand. Rocket arced through a funnel shaped region of Earth magnetic field lines before landing some 900 miles downrange in the Norwegian Sea. The science data were transmitted to a ground station during the short flight. I made to measure the complex underlying physics behind the phenomena of satellite drag, the launch required conditions that enable the transfer of solar wind energy to Earth's magnetic field and eventually into our atmosphere to create the stunning northern lights of Aurora. With the sun becoming increasingly active after the unusually 
unusually long quiet cycle. The researchers were banking that aurora will occur to a low launch during the November 28th, December 12th window. News are upwelling has been known to exist since the earliest days of the space program when observers noted the increased drag on Earth orbiting satellites during periods of solar activity. At the time, the effect was largely attributed to a complex heating process that causes the causes the upper part of the Earth atmosphere or thermosphere to swell up horizontally on a scale of 100 of kilometers. More recent observations have shown that neutral upwelling can also occur on much smaller scales and more localized in the cusp region. Two funnels of magnetic field lines that allow a small amount of solar wind to react to reach the top of the atmosphere and produce the auroral glow. This upwelling process is more vertical in nature and appears to be associated with auroral process. The Renum instrument payload was designed to take an array of measurements, including those for natural gas, electric and magnetic fields, and precipitating our particles and the new data acquired during the flight will provide information essential for the advancement of understanding the process. The launch location in the far northern polar region was chosen so that the experiment could take place in total darkness. Also, the effect of satellite drag can negatively impact a spacecraft orbit over time, which is a concern for the time low orbit strategic satellites. Lazar stresses this was not the primary motivation for this. Plan. From NASA point of view, this is a mission of poor science. We're trying to understand the process behind neutral upwelling and how it is associated with visible aurora phenomena, said Lesser, associate professor at the UNC Institute of the Study of Air, Ocean and Space. This is the first time anyone has tried to measure this neutral particle enhancement at this altitude and with this combination of instruments, Lesser said. He asked that this appeared the team was successful in getting the rocket to transit a region of neutral density enhancement but because so much data is guarded during rocket launches, unlike a satellite, vast amount of data can be transmitted quickly back to Earth. It could take months to analyze the result. An array of ground based instruments located at KHO in the northernmost of part of Norway complemented the rocket mission. The data, will, the data will be used to quantify neutral density enhancement or region of neutral atom density. So that's basically the, new, the topic about the Norway spiral. He was trying to sign a, a rocket. Now, I have a news. Uh, not from NASA. I say uh, first from NASA, but not from NASA. That uh, a quarter astronomer teamed with scientists at a Harvard Smithsonian Center of Astrophysics (CFA) and other institutions to discover a new alien world. This hot Jupiter now name it Quater 1b, as to the growing list of alien planets orbiting distant star. Okay, it's related. The Quater exoplanet survey hunt for star that wink, dimming slightly over time, and orbiting planet creates a mini eclipse by crossing in front of the star as seen from Earth. Transit search like this must sift through thousands of stars to find the small fraction with detectable planets. The complex observation and analysis create perfect opportunity for teamwork. To find the new world, quarter wide angle camera located in New Mexico took image of the sky every clear night beginning in early 2010. The photographs then were transmitted to the UCA for analysis by collaborating astronomers at St. Andrews and Leicester Universities and Quarter. That analysis narrowed the field to a few hundred candidate stars. The Harvard Smithsonian team, Smithsonian team, with Dr. Al Subai, followed up on the most promising candidates, making a spectroscopic observation with the 60-inch diameter telescope at the Smithsonian Weibel Observatory in Arizona. Such observation can weed out binary star system with grazing eclipse, which mimic planetary transit. They also measure the stars dimming more accurately with Weibel 48-inch telescope. The resulting data confirmed the existence of a planet now called Quater 1b, orbiting an orange type K, K star 550 light years away. Quater 1b is a gas giant 20% larger than Jupiter. 
in diameter and 10% more massive. It belongs to the hot Jupiter family because it is orbit 2.2 million miles from its star only 6 stellar radii away. The planet rules at a temperature of around 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. What will be circled each star once every 1.4 days, meaning that each year is just 34 hours long. It's expected to be tidally locked with the star, so one side of the planet always faces the star. As a result, the planet spins on its axis once every 34 hours, three times slower than Jupiter, which rotates once in 10 hours. So, another more, Jupiter, a like planet, appear, alien planet, now from quarter, is quarter quarter 1b. You know, Belize, and now quarter 1b, and more exoplanets, and more will be come out in the next couple of months. I bet that because uh, they are uh, looking for life for Earth alike planets. So, that's uh, what I need to say, and that's the news for today. I hope to see you very soon with more news about planet Earth. See you and take care people. Goodbye. Back home, huh?